Good uh, evening, and welcome back to Professor Frank Kazmarek's Google Career. And recently, Jebediah has been roaming the halls, complaining to our lab groups something about meeting sponsorships. Sponsorships. So, for our Jebediah's next tour group, Orbital Tour Group, we present him with the uh, Jebediah Space Tours Mark III vessel. Let's load your tourists on board, Jebediah, and show them what's new in this vessel. So Jebediah's Space Tour's Mark III vessel features the Rockomax structural adapter. That's right, Rockomax adapters to attach your Rockomax rockets to other lesser inferior rockets. You trust Rockomax to take your rockets to the max. Jebediah, does that uh, satisfy your contractual applications? Okay, good, because our tourists are ready to take an orbital flight. So, when you are ready, we shall launch in 3, 2, 1, Go! And nudge it over a little so our boosters don't crash into our launch pad. And our boosters, we are also attempting some parachutes on them. See if we can't recover one of the more of our stages that we launch off. We're get almost time for booster separation. Go! We heard some parachutes opening. That should be good news. Okay. We're climbing up. This is an orbital mission. So we need to start to go. We need to start turning over some. So we can get uh, horizontal velocity as well as vertical. Because we need to get into an orbit around. To show these tourists the sights. Do we hear something exploding? I don't know. Hopefully we recover those parts. Okay. Why is your rocket turning over too much? No, we should be. Let's see what our... Okay, only 18,000. Come on, keep climbing. Keep climbing. Come on, 23, Jebediah, yeah, we need to go higher. There we go, 26, come on, keep it climbing. Out of the stage, Jebediah. The rocket climbing. 42,000, 44, 45. What's going on? Did. Oh, why did we. Oh, we were looking at the wrong gauge. Jebediah, we were looking at the wrong gauge. Okay, now that's really climbing. Now you're doing it. All right, up to 70. Let's stop there. And when we get to our apoapsis, we shall finish our burn to get orbital. All right, I think we can turn people around. We'll turn around this way so that we can look straight up to the sun. On our tourists, we can look at the curvature of Kerbin. Wonderful view, wonderful view! Except for this tourist. Oh, you can see out this side. And see nothing but the ocean. Okay, let's check our map again. Okay, and we are climbing up to our apoapsis. At which point we shall continue our burn. To get into an orbital. Trajectory. Actually, we're going to have to burn longer, so let's start to aim a bit before it. Really 
I'll get that. Alright. We'll climb on up to an apoapsis again a bit. Get a little bit right at it. Alright, I'm gonna have to feel this burn. So that means you should turning like that. We stay here. Come on, we need enough to get to orbital, and then we can have just a few. 73, 100. Okay. And then hopefully, wow, we really drained our fuel there. Did I? Hopefully, we'll have enough to set you back down, drop you into the atmosphere. But all of your tourists are happy, Jebediah. It's an amazing thing when your tourists are happy with your flights. <laughs> now, why don't we, uh, well, we are up in orbit. Attention, uh, tourists, we are at a high 100,000 apoapsis, and we are in a steady orbit. So, why don't we all take a walk outside? I want you to show them all the sights. There we go. Let's see, do what I want to say. All right, everybody, would you like to come on out? Oops, steady. And they come over here and say, well, there we go. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> you are always showing off, huh? <laughs> let's see. How can, okay, oh, because you're on the, here, let's, let's go up on this side and show this guy. Bonk. Okay, yeah, you stay right there. Just enough, just a little bit. Nope, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. There you go. Let's see. <laughs> now that is a view. Huh, Jebediah? <laughs> okay, well, let's see. You know what? Come on out here, tourists. Oh, there we go. Auto camera. Okay. You go ahead. Oh, tourists may not disembark. <laughs> You're showing off and the tourists can't get out. Well, I guess that's correct. Tourists, Jebediah, have not been properly trained on the use of the EVA suits. So tourists will please remain seated and locked in their trade table up position. All right, Jebediah, let's get back on board. Okay, so let's... Ooh, look, there's the moon. Let's go ahead and... Let's complete an orbit for our tourists. What do you say, Jebediah? Let's see, we launch from there, so once we come around, we'll descend our periapsis. We'll give them one orbit. Let's hope we had enough fuel. Okay, we need to turn retrograde. We pass by the apoapsis, we can drop down. Yes, today your tourists are thrilled to be in space. And now it's time to bring them back home. Okay, let's see. I'm to drop this. Okay, there we go. That's oh, might be coming in a bit steep. <gasps> Ooh, let's see if we can land at the space center. That would be nice. That's a real way to say that would be nice to land at the space center. Alright, let's zoom on down here. Oh, so I might want to keep your ship in a retrograde position when we descend. Well, actually, we were pretty high up, huh? We <laughs> just keep uh There we go. There we go. Now we're entering the atmosphere, Jebediah. Now you can ditch that stage and we've got shields and we shall say bye goodbye to the Rocco Max structural adapter that's right Rocco Max make your ships better to the max okay Jebediah does that satisfy your contractual obligations very nice <laughs> and our electric charge is dwindling Jebediah um okay um Hold this position manually then as we start to come back into the atmosphere. Look at that flag. Jeb Space Tours Mark III vessel. 
which looks like it's going to be a long descent. So let's speed it up here, David. I. Ah, too much spin. <laughs> too much spin. Let's be nice to the tourists, Jeb. <laughs> they are looking excited at all the sights. Oh, <laughs> did we just pass underneath? We just we just passed underneath. Yeah, we had a shadow pass over our ship. <laughs> we'll say bye bye. That means we're falling faster than that part. Um, is that a good thing? Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing. That we're falling faster than that part. But we still got a ways to come down down. Actually, where does it look like we're going to land now? Hmm? Are we going to... Well... Ooh, Jebediah, that would be amazing if we can land back at the Space Center. I'm sure our tourists would really love that. Otherwise, it would be a very long walk back to their cars. <laughs> or a swim. I'll have to swim back to the parking garage. Uh, don't worry, your parking will be validated with every purchase of a orbital tour. Suburbital tourist, nope, your parking is not validated. <laughs> Where is our trajectory? Oh, right. As the atmosphere slows us down more. Oh, here we go. Here comes the heating effects. And we got heat shields on the Mark III. So we didn't have to burn a deceleration to keep our tourists from frying. <laughs> oh, and it's holding pretty steady. Based on the aerodynamic forces. So it's like to die won't have to hold the craft in position. Alright, let's see, we're dropping more. <sighs> nope, we might miss because as we decelerate more, we'll probably wind up in the mountains. Alright, Jeb, you wanna take the tourists to your mountain retreat? Everybody's calm and collected and admiring the tunnel of fire as you're passing over. Is that where debris still back there, 11 kilometers away? Yep, I don't think we'll be landing back at the uh, Space Center. Nope. Uh, hopefully we land. If we do land in the mountains, hopefully it's a um, flat part of the mound. Hopefully. To be done. Oh, the mountains are going to be tricky, huh? Valentina just got a close call with some mountain ranges. Are these going to be the Jeb Mountains? <sighs> your tourists are freaking out. I don't think your tourists want to crash in the mountains. Actually, Jebediah, let's deploy these parachutes. They should slow our descent enough so we don't land on the side of a mountain and roll off of it. No, let's get a... Hmm. Oh, boy. Maybe we should have deployed the chutes sooner, huh, Jebediah? I know nothing phases you, but these tourists paid good money to not be obliterated. <laughs> Alright, that looks good. We'll be landing on the uh, floor, the foot of the mountains. Let's see. Oh, now, of course, this... Uh, let's support. Was that no toiletry? No. Um, yeah, well, this 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 tourist, he's got quite a view here. Not that window. <laughs> and this one. You too. Yes, you're both watching. While well, Jebediah's got nothing but sky. Well, that's not, and what was that? What was that sound? Oh, was that the uh, engines finally crashing somewhere off in the distance? Okay, let's not hit the side of the mountain and roll off of it. Can we change our, give ourselves any bit of, whoa, wobbling there to change our, all right, 
uh, parachutes finally finish opening. Good job. Okay. Well, while the tourists chit chat, let's speed up a little bit here and get down to the ground already. <laughs> Remember, tourists, to please pack all your belongings, including any of the uh, vomit bags that might be floating around in your cabin. <laughs> and we are down. Congratulations, Jebediah, on another successful tourist mission. Let's recover everybody. Okay, and we are back from Jebediah's Space Tours with a Mark III vessel. Another successful space tour returning our tourists safe and sound to Kerbin. Alright, thank you and good night.